Hi there, this is an Amazon Kindle Touch sent to me by Amazon as a replacement for a uh, Kindle keyboard, which I have here. It's got a minor crack in the bottom uh, right hand corner of the bezel, you probably can't see it there. You may just be able to see it if I focus the camera actually. There's a tiny little crack in there, hasn't been dropped or bashed. You can probably see it now, just there. Um, let me focus it. There we go. Yeah. So I complained to Amazon and they very kindly sent me a Kindle Touch to replace it. Well, they said I could keep the Kindle keyboard as well. So, let me focus the camera. Sorry about this. Not very professional. I'm going to unbox it for you. It is the Amazon, Amazon, Amazon Certified Frustration Free Packaging. There's a little tab here. Behind the cardboard strip, the perforated strip, there is a strong plastic strip. So when you pull the tab, it tears the plastic tip tab tears through the cardboard like this. Let me do it from the back so you can see it. So that's that. That's the unboxing. There we go. Here is the Kindle Touch. Oh look at that. Now they told me it'd be a refurbished one, but it looks like it looks like it's brand new. Let's take it out of the box. So there's the Kindle. Kindle Touch. Because it's wrapped on, of course. And um, it's got speakers, stereo speakers. At least I think they're stereo. Um, and in the box you've got just a standard um, mark USB cable because obviously you use a, a phone charger or a USB socket as the uh, as a source for the five volts to power the to charge the Kindle Touch. So basically, to save the environment, they're saving on well, they're basically being cheapskates, I suppose. They're saving sending you a charger. Um, but everyone's got these chargers everywhere these days, these USB chargers. So um, just plug it into a computer or into a, into a, another mobile phone or iPod charger, and it'll charge it up. So anyway, just put that back in the box because I don't need that. Because I've got loads of I've got loads of micro USB cables. So. What I do is pull the wrapping off and I shut the lid. Oh, hang on, first of all, what I'll show you is inside the box you get this thing here called. Oh, it's stuck. Getting to know your Kindle. Well, I know my Kindle already, so there you go, I don't need that. I haven't put a quick start guide in there, so maybe it is refurbished, but anyway. So, uh, there's the device. It's a power button, just there. There's your power LED there. Um, excuse me. Headphone socket. But maybe a microphone there. Micro USB socket. Let's power it on. Press the button. What do I have to plug it in first? Oh no, there it is, it comes on. There we are, Kindle, it's booting up. These are great little devices, they run on Linux. Um, this version is the, um, the version prior to the Kindle Paperwhite. This has the, actually uses um, infrared beams to detect your fingers touch uh, on a screen. Whereas the Kindle Paperwhite uses capacitive mem uh, capacitive um, screen to uh, detect the touch. So let's try United Kingdom. Are you sure? Yes. Of course I'm sure. That's what I pressed it for. Hello. That's why I pressed it. So it's booting up. This is my first look at it too so uh, if I stutter and sort of stall and pause you know why because I'm the first time I've ever seen it obviously because you saw me on you saw me unboxing it from sealed so and the home button is here, there's a tactile home button, this little, little row of ridges here. If I can show you this up close from a side profile, um, let me focus the camera. You can see they actually protrude above the surface of the lips. Excuse my camera work. 
may protrude above the surface of the bottom of the bezel. So you actually push on that. That's your home button. So anyway, let's refocus. It's now telling me how to use my easy reach. Oh, sorry about the camera. Easy reach tap zones let you turn pages with other hand. Woohoo! Okay. Brilliant. Thanks for that. Tap the top of the menu of the screen to show the menu and toolbar. Okay. Open and organize your library in home. Right. Turn the page to discover more features. Or press the home button to use your Kindle immediately. Brilliant. So I pressed that tactile home button um, to use it immediately, which is what it said to do. So I'm going to go to menu, um, go to settings, and I'll see what software version it's on. Um, Tell me. Uh, no, back. Okay. Oh, hang on. No, menu. That's right. Menu settings, and then when you're in menu, when you're in settings, you go to menu, device info. Uh, let me just screen this first to make sure. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm not going to show you my. Uh, device serial obviously so there we go that is the Kindle keyboard let's check the uh, software version that's what I meant to do didn't I device info well let me just hide the top of the you can see there Kindle 5.1.1 so there we go Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.